Hey guys, Sokol, welcome back to Persona 4 Golden. Let's carry on where we left off. We've made it to June, and we have saved two people's lives. Both Yukiko and Kanji are safe and sound. In fact, they're part of the investigation team now. So life goes on. The killer hasn't struck as of yet. And, well, we're even planning on getting our motorcycle license, so long as Dojima permits us to even take the test. For now, though, it seems our classmate needs some help once again. The timid female student. T -t Did you hear? It seems there's a ghost. At Tatsuhime Shrine. Uh, yeah, that's April's news there, timid female student. I've, in fact, befriended said ghost. If you go there at night, a woman's ghost will approach, and she threatens you unless you give her a fish. Why fish, though? That's not something people carry around with them, you know? Precisely why many have fallen victim to her and were never seen again. Thankfully, I always had goldfish on hand. I don't think I can go near the shrine for a while. Excuse me, I have another request. Will you hear me out? Listen. I have another request. After you brought me that angel before, this time, can you bring me a crucifix? I'd like to keep it next to the angel. Are you going to try and ward off the ghost from the shrine just so you can make a wish that I will have to fulfill because of the fox goading me into trying to secure more money for the shrine? Jeez, this is all an elaborate conspiracy. I, uh, heard some scary news again. I'm scared just to be in my room by myself. You got it. Wow, thank you very much. Silver ones are pretty common, so something like a crooked cross will be nice. A crooked cross? Isn't that a bit unholy? I think that would work, so I'll be waiting for you. Acquire a crooked cross. Jeez, you don't make it easy. Oh yeah, so, you were a transfer student, right? I can't tell if he was starting a sentence with so, or if he was addressing me by my name. <laughs> I might be giving away too much, but you might want to think about staying home from school soon. The school camp out? If you knew what goes on there, it'll probably make you upset. Yeah, last year I kind of snapped and got sent home. I think I might do the same thing this year. <laughs> okay. okay, you're just admitting to going psycho? All right. That's that's fine. I thought he was threatening me. He was like, you better stay home from camp this year. I might kill you like Jason Voorhees' mother. <laughs> it's impossible. King Moron split us up into groups for the school camp. Oh, I wanted to be in the same group as her. So you're in the same group as Amagi and Satanaka, right? Oh man, that's so hot, isn't it? We're in separate tents, though. Damn it. I need to change groups somehow or I'll need to change my plans to get to know her. I, I swear, dude, just go up onto the roof, speak with her. Maybe not tonight, or this afternoon, I should say, because it's raining. Still, you gotta make moves soon, son. School camp is coming up. I must remain vigilant. Every year, a number of students try to ditch, especially the ones whose houses are nearby. In my class, that's unacceptable. If Mr. Moroka finds out they're ditching, that's why it's the duty of the wise shepherd to keep his foolish sheep from straying. Uh, if you're trying to obey Mr. Moroka's orders and kiss his ass, I would say you're the sheep, Mr. Guy in Glosses. Watching the weather report does nothing but depress me. They never say it'll be sunny and warm. If I hang the laundry indoors, the whole house gets all humid. Having a mountain house with no wind is a travesty. i sure it is. I don't get how some kids find the will to study. They'd have it so much easier if they decided to find work instead. They want to go to a big university, but they don't realize that it's basically an impossible dream. You came from the city, so you understand, don't you? High schools here are just way lower quality. I mean, I wouldn't say university is an impossible dream. It's perfectly doable, especially these days. A lot of people go into university because it's expected of them. I don't feel like you should have to go to university if you don't want to. But uh, it's not an impossible dream. I mean, I obviously don't know the situation in Japan. I do know that the students tend to stress out over their entrance exams a lot. So it is probably difficult to get into the top universities, especially for a high school in the countryside. But hey, with enough tenacity, I'm sure you could do it. Oh, hey, Kanji. What's up? These students are gossiping loudly. Hey, do you remember Saki Senpai's little brother? Uh, yeah, I do. I do. What about him? He's completely back to normal, isn't he? Even though Saki-senpai is gone? Wow, really? That's so heartless. I can't believe it. I feel sorry for Saki-senpai, you know, having a brother like him. 
I mean, people grieve in different ways. Some people uh, reach the acceptance stage a lot faster than others, so I don't think it's any of your business how her brother feels. Kanji, what's up? Senpai! Let's go into the TV. Kanji seems anxious to visit the TV world. Will you call up your friends and go with them? Uh, not today, my friend. Oh, you're busy, huh? Maybe next time, then? Later, senpai. Kanji looks disappointed. W you'll have your chance, and don't worry, we'll have the proper glasses for you, okay? Ooh, another quest. Here's kind of an odd question. Has anyone ever randomly decided to give you a plastic model? Nope, never. Uh, okay, good. Nobody would that be that weird, right? <sighs> I've been thinking about my dad lately. What about? <laughs> None of my business. Well, he got glue stuck to that board you gave me a little while back, but this time the model is still attached. Yeah, that's right, it's just standing there. I bet he did it on purpose. Imagine having a model stuck to your desk. Oh, only me, I swear. I wonder if there's some kind of glue-repelling reflecting board out there? I might know of something. Uh-huh. Something like that actually exists? Oh, I get it, it's from the city, huh? Well, if you can get any, will you tell me? I will definitely repay the favor, I promise. Sure, disc refurbishing part two. Anything else you want for your disc? I'm sure I can procure it from the TV world. Did you hear the rumor about the ghost at the Tatsuhime Shrine? That shrine has some history to it. It wouldn't surprise me to learn that there are ghosts there. But a ghost that wants fish? How could a ghost be hungry? <laughs> yeah, well, the fox wants money. Everyone wants something at that damn shrine. La la, rain, rain, fall, fall, rainy days, hear the sound as it hits the ground. La la, rare materials may be found. Peachy peachy, chapu chapu, la la. Hmm? Am I singing it wrong still? Maybe it's because I'm in front of this weird store. <laughs> Hello, Namatame. I was fired from work in spring, but I'm helping with the family business now. The life here is nice, too. Hmm. Am I going to get to know you someday, properly? She's here again. She never ever goes home. It troubles me. <laughs> are you spying? There are lots of round things, aren't there? I wonder if it's okay to count telephone poles as round. I gotta make a decision. Um, I mean, by definition, a pole is kind of round, yes. Well, let's spend the day at Aya. Might as well work on boosting all our stats, even though we're not going to be able to finish the bowl. And it's going to cost us some money. I think it would be a good chance to just start raising our several characteristics. Spend time here. Central Shopping District, Chinese Diner, Aya. You accepted the Rainy Day Special Mega Beef Bowl Challenge. It's as much a mouthful as it is this bowl. You still can't see the rice. Begin to suspect that your bowl is a portal to the meat dimension. The amount of meat contained within this bowl is truly staggering. In order to finish this bowl, you must have understanding of your limits, knowledge to control your pace, courage to face this unrelenting tide of beef, and the diligence to persevere against this colossal challenge. All these traits are necessary to master the rainy day special meat of beef bowl challenge. You are unable to finish your meal in your current state. Well, I tried. You tried your best to finish the rainy day special mega beef ball challenge, and your personality has grown tremendously. Your knowledge has increased, your courage has increased, your diligence has increased. We are now strong. Aye, uh, too bad, mister. That'll be 3,000 yen. Come back soon. Thank you. Still didn't get to meet his daughter. Oh, Adachi. You've taken Nanako's spot. Ah, huh. you're back. Where is Nanako? Did you eat her? Hi there. Hello. You want some meal, too? Fair warning, it's from the supermarket. Why is, does that need a warning? <laughs> well, excuse me. <laughs> it's delicious, though. I can't believe it was on sale. <laughs> so you got discounted Sorry, but this guy eats instant noodles every day. That constant slurping got on my nerves, so I called him here. Why, so we could slurp at our house? Jeez. You don't have to bluff like that. You just wanted to eat dinner with a coworker, right? Yes, absolutely. I'm sure it is. Don't be stupid. <laughs> But eel was a great choice. Nanako-chan loved it, at least. I'd say she's eely proud of her daddy. <laughs> God, why is he the jester again? Did my joke slip away? It is an eel, after all. Yeah, well, I'm suddenly feeling eel. Just eat your dinner. <laughs> yes, sir. <laughs> I gotta say, the relationship between these two is always... 
crack up. Nanako-chan's such a good girl, though. She went straight to do her homework once her plate was clean. She is a very precious girl indeed. It's not every day you get to eat eel. You'd think she would have spent some more time savoring it. You think that because you slack off too much. You should follow her example. <clears throat> Way to hit where it hurts. Well, this is all just a nice chance for you to learn how to become a greater detective, Adachi. You're literally in the home of your superior. Do as he does. Instead of slacking off all the time, you need to consult Ojima about getting a motorcycle license. How do I bring that What's up? the matter? Well, he's eating eel, but then again, Adachi's in our house, so I can't tell, I can't gauge what Dojima's mood is right now. A motorcycle? You mean a scooter? Oh, that's right. Kids your age can ride those. Yes, a scooter. Exactly. That's the one. Uh, I don't know, though. Oh, gosh. Come on, don't be a spoil sport. It's no surprise he wants one out here. Okay, maybe it's a good thing Adachi's here. I understand how you feel, since I'm from the city myself. Then again, would Dojima take any of his recommendations seriously? <laughs> the trains don't run that often, and walking around everywhere is pretty inconvenient, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah, it's a hassle. Right? It's criminal. Oh, nice. Some bonding notes. I'll take it. You say that, but... That reminds me, I remember you telling me something once, Dojima-san. About some of the reckless things you did on your motorcycle when you were young. Oh? You moron. Think before you talk. And once you're done eating, hurry and... <sighs> What's up? It's me. Hmm. All right. We'll be there soon. Well, looks like you two are heading out to another job. Looks like I made the right choice to skip the booze. And Adachi did not? <laughs> Adachi, you were the one in charge of that file, right? File? Oh, did that suspicious guy show up again? Suspicious guy? Who? Would you keep your mouth shut? We're going back. Get in the car. Back? You mean to the station? But I haven't had my eel liver soup yet. You better finish it before you leave that front door, because I'm sure you can't drink it in Dojima's car. Wow, that is some serious power walking. He could be in the Olympics. About this license, did you decide on this yourself? No one talked you into it? I... my own initiative, I swear. I know it's hard without a way to get around, but two-wheeled vehicles can be dangerous. Do you understand? I know. I mean, I've seen my classmate crash his manually powered bicycle. <laughs> I'm sure I'll be fine with a motorized scooter that goes a lot faster. I'll be... I want you to trust me. There we go. It's not that I doubt you, but allowing you to get one is something else. Dojima seems troubled. Call my parents, they'll be fine with it. It's gonna be great. It's not like I'm gonna take Nanako for a spin or anything to Juness in the middle of the night again. Don't give me that face. I, I know you're serious about this. Come on, dude, you gave me like 20,000 yen. First, you need a license. We can talk about this again when you have one. Well then, sorry to dump this on you, but I need you to look after the house. But where's Nanako gone? Humph. Fine. I'll study for my license. Oh, good timing. Hello, Chad speaking. It's from Yosuke. Yo, it's me! Yo. How did it go with your uncle? I've been on the edge of my seat thinking about it! What the hell, were you like spying through the window or something? How do you know I just spoke with him? Seriously? Let's go get ours as soon as we can! I gotta hit the books. Let's make sure we both pass together. Okay. I ain't gonna be able to help you during the test. You know that, right? Yosuke must really want a motorcycle license. He promised to go to the exam site with him tomorrow. You wonder about the suspicious guy Adachi mentioned, but there's no way to find out more about it for now. You should review the manual Yosuke gave you and study for the license exam. All right. Then we can start pursuing the suspicious guy on our scooter. Here he comes. Oh, morning. Yosuke seems sleepy. I went to bed, but little details kept bugging me, so I'd get up again and check the manual. Oh, it never ended. 
How are you gonna take the test if you're sleep deprived? How are you gonna ride a motorcycle when you're sleep deprived? Sorry, scooter. I ended up getting almost no sleep at all. Well, if we're gonna do this, let's pass on the first try. How are you feeling? It'll be a breeze. <laughs> now that's my partner. I see you haven't forgotten about our up close and personal plan. <laughs> well, let's make sure we're not late to the exam. We'll leave as soon as school's out. <laughs> that guy's late for something. Classes have ended for today. You promised Yosuke that you would go to get your license with him after school today. You should get going. You take the license exam with Yosuke. Here's hoping we pass. The answers seem to be flowing from your hand. Oh, beautiful. Music to my ears. You succeeded in passing the exam. Obtained a scooter license. Just like that. Wee <laughs> We passed on the first try. Just like we planned. Yes, I mean, we don't plan to fail an exam, so that's good. Actually, it was pretty easy. I might have studied a little too hard. If only you could apply that to your school exams, Yosuke. Hmm. Well. Now all we need to do is buy a scooter. Uh oh Hello. Hi. Are you on duty? We just stopped by to get gas and, well, to take care of some minor business. Smoking at the gas station again, are we again, Dojima? Where did you guys go? To do the motorcycle exam. It was a complete coincidence that we turned up there at the same time. It was my decision, he made his own decision, it was crazy. To go get our licenses. Already? Yes, already. Ta-da! They printed it out I and everything. It's just a written test to get a scooter license, but still, I wasn't expecting you to pass so soon. Gee, where is the faith? Come on, man. I'm not as dumb as I look. No. I don't look dumb at all. <laughs> Looks like I'd better think of a way to convince my sister. <laughs> Thank you. I can't say no now that you've gotten your license. Yeah, too late. Better ask for forgiveness than permission. Your enthusiasm is catching. Yes! You got the okay! I need to head home and read through the catalog. Yeah. Well, see you tomorrow. Alright. Catches. Meanwhile, I need to start saving up. Mind if I borrow you a sec before you head back home? Okay. What's up? Hey, Adachi. I just finished filling it up. <laughs> it's got all the small tasks. Sorry for dragging you into this. What's this? This is my scooter. Your scooter? I had it fixed at the shop. It may be old, but it runs pretty well. I came to put gas in it, but I wasn't expecting to hand it over today, too. Oh, my. Well... I'm letting you have it. Oh, <gasps> Dojima. You are a great uncle. I mean, big bro. <laughs> this is a nice bike. You can tell? I, I mean, yeah, I'm not going to say it's a piece of crap. The local shops don't carry twist grips, so I had one of the repair guys at work help me out with it in secret. Oh, man. Jeez. Lucky it was ready then, because I got my license today. Uh, don't tell anyone that, okay? Tojima's passion for the scooter is obvious. You're always so strict at the station, but you're a cool dad inside, huh? Shut up, Adachi. <laughs> you always yell at me. Can't even... No compliments, no teasers, no mocks, just silence, Adachi. Just get him his damn coffee. Still, I wish we had a sleek means of transportation like that. Who knows when that suspicious guy will show up again? Speaking of this suspicious guy, who is it? Hasn't he been using professional quality cameras to take pictures of people's houses from the Amagi Inn to around here? There he goes again, divulging elements of the case out loud. I'm starting to wonder. Looks like he knows the back streets, too. So a car won't be. Will you stop blabbering like that? Go back to the car. <laughs> I can only imagine how frustrating it must be for Dojima sometimes. Well, anyway. It's like, he's... Like, Adachi's supposed to be from the city, and he's just constantly messing up. It's just rubbing Dojima the, round, the wrong way. I was around your age when I got my license, too. I took the test behind my parents' back. Ew. 
You rogue cop you. When my dad caught me riding a scooter later on, he gave me a good thrashing. <laughs> I hope you were off the scooter at the time. Don't tell Nanako about that, okay? Okay. I'll tell her that her granddad is a real nice guy. Dojima's chuckle mischievously. Since I've already given the okay, I won't bug you about traffic laws. Just be safe when you're riding it. You do that, and I'll look the other way if you decide to ride it out of town. Can you promise me? Woohoo, we've been pushing the boundaries lately. First, we can go out at night because we have our job that we have yet to attend, by the way. And now we can ride our scooter out of town, so long as we be safe. Good. I'll hold you to that. Alright. Won't let you down. Not like a dachi. You received Dojima's scooter. As you ride around and get a feel for the local roads, you'll be able to go to more places. Ooh. It's the scooter you got from Dojima. What will you do? Uh, hmm. Good question. Let me just save first, just in case anything happens. Oh, another quest from the twin sister. Someone got me and my sister mixed up again. Oh, we're just so alike that people can't tell who's who. Everyone says that they're jealous. Amazing, isn't it? Um, I have something to ask you. Listener. Um, I want to walk home with my sister, but I don't know where she went off to. If I wait, she doesn't come at all. Have you seen my sister anywhere? I'll look for her. Really? You'll find her, right? I know precisely where she is. Please find my younger twin. Alright, well that shouldn't take too long. And we got another quest over here from the old woman. Hey, you there. Wait, can I talk to you? Are you free? <laughs> Oh, it's nice of a young man like you to spend time with an old lady like me. Listen to what I have to say. Do you know what a wedding veil is? Yeah, lady, I'm not like I'm... It's not like I'm two or anything. Of course I do. Oh, wow. That's very admirable in someone as young as you. How old do you think I am? When a woman gets married, she wears a veil. I was told it prevents demons from making her grow horns after the wedding. Really? My mother-in-law insisted that I wear one. It's outrageous that you would even consider not wearing one, she said. She always did what she wanted in life, I'm not joking. She really didn't like me, not at all. Anyway, I refused to wear a veil and we ended up getting into a shouting match during the wedding ceremony. And before I knew it, here I am, just as old as she was. Shouting, getting angry at everybody, but I'm starting to regret it. I'd say my horns finally fell out or something, wouldn't you? Anyway, I thought I should hang some horns above my bed as a symbol of how I'm turning my outlook on life around. As you do. I'd tell visitors, oh yeah, those were the horns I grew after I got married. <laughs> but nobody sells them. You take guests into your bedroom just to point out horns hanging over your head? Okay. Sit yourself. I might be able to look. Really? Oh, that's so nice of you. I'm counting on you to find me some good ones now. Acquire a horn. Right. Oh, we can also check on this kid. Have you made some friends? Oh, you're the one who gave me the prize sticker. I showed it to them, but they said a grown-up sticker didn't count. Here, you can have it back. Where am I supposed to find a rare kid sticker? I don't know any. The boy's looking for a rare sticker that is popular among kids. Maybe you should ask some kids for ideas. Okay, well, time to move on to interrogating kids. Let's try not be creepy. Now the cat has a bloody quest? It seems like it's still hungry. But you don't have any food to give. You need to come prepared. <laughs> Sorry. You need to be prepared for everything these days. What is it? You've seen that face before. She looks almost exactly like the older sister who was looking for her younger twin. Hmm? My older sister, is he looking for me? Tell her that I'm here on the floodplain. I won't go anywhere. You should go tell the older twin that you found her sister. <laughs> oh gosh, now I have to travel back and forth. I should have brought my scooter. Found your sister. You told her where her sister was located. So that's where she is. Sheesh. Why is she at a place like that? She should have come back here together with you. Well, that's okay. I'll go over and see her. I am the big sister after all. Thanks for telling me where she is. Received to go home times five. You should probably give that to your sister. I've been talking to my cousin lately. It's actually really fun. I've been missing out all this time. Even while I'm waiting for the bus, I look forward to getting to talk with him. That's nice. 
Because that bus is always late. Not that I have to worry about the bus anymore. Now that my diligence is strong, I should be able to take the janitor job, right? I feel that your diligence is sufficient for this hospital job. You've taken the hospital janitor job. Leave from the bus stop at the shopping district on Wednesday, Thursday, or Friday nights. So I could go tonight if I have nothing better to do. Excellent. Look forward to it. Oh, Yukiko is available as well. Hmm, do I ride the scooter or just hang out with someone? Yumi's here. Ko's there. Damn. So many choices. Whoa, so senpai. Uh, I wasn't peeping inside. It's not like that. Phew. Uh, by the way, have you heard any weird rumors lately? I heard someone say my name in the second year's hallway, so it seems like more stupid rumors going around again. I mean, I'm used to it, so it don't really bother me. But I don't want to cause any trouble for you guys, so feel free to let me know if something ever comes up. Sure thing, buddy. Trust me, if anyone's causing trouble with you, they're gonna have to answer to me, okay? You're part of my clique now. Hello, I haven't seen you around here before. <sighs> I'm tired of coming to school. I can't believe they let that Tatsumi in here. I hear he started his own gang and goes around bullying people. How did I get to be in the same class as him? He's out snooping around the practice building right now. How scary is that? It seems Kanji is bullying people. Are the rumors true? No. Hopefully she's not making shit up. So, why are you making that scary face at me? Do you have something to tell me? Yes, I do. I see. Let's go somewhere else then. Samagawa floodplain. Looks like I'm spending time with uh, Kanji today then. You brought Kanji here to learn the truth behind the rumors. What is it? What do you want? Dragging me out here? Oh, you here to tell me off or something? <laughs> just here to talk. Huh. How come you're sounding like a cop? I'm just practicing, you know, we're in part of the investigation team and kind of teaching you how to emulate a cop, seeing as my uncle is one after all. So, what is it? He asked Kanji about his ties to the gang of bullies. Huh? Uh, bullies? Me? Senpai, you suspecting me? I want to believe in you. Now I'm sounding like you're dead. <laughs> Senpai, uh, I didn't do it. I mean, maybe it ain't that easy to trust me, since they say I was in a gang. But you gotta believe me. It's my own fault rumors like that go around, huh? At this rate, I'll be causing trouble for you guys. It's no trouble. Nothing I can't handle. Senpai. Uh, whenever you got time, could you maybe hear what I have to say? I feel all cramped inside, and I'm not too dumb to know what it's about. Clumsy as he is, it seems Kanji is looking for an opportunity to change. I feel a faint bond forming between you and Kanji. All right, well, here we go. Another social link has been secured. Emperor? Nice. Thou art I, and I am thou. Thou hast established a new bond. It brings thee closer to the truth. Thou shalt be blessed when creating personas of the Emperor Arcana. I don't know what I was expecting your Arcana to be, but uh, Emperor does fit quite nicely. <laughs> You have established the Ikanji Tatsumi social link of the Emperor Arcana. You may earn an XP bonus when fusing personas of the Emperor Arcana. Kanji's determination of battle has been enhanced. Kanji can now wake up and knock down ally during battle. To make sure I don't cause you any trouble. Huh. Well, I guess I should smack that gang of bullies around. Uh, no. No violence. Later. <laughs> you talked with Kanji for a while and went home. You're back. So you're home. Oh yeah, a package came for you. It's on the table over there. It's the Jinki Fundoshi combo you purchased from the TV show. Obtained Jinki Fundoshi and Slimming Food. In addition, you obtained a bonus prize sticker. You remember that you can work as a janitor at the hospital today. Go to the hospital? Possibly. We've got some vegetables we have to uh, secure as well. The vegetables you plan to look ready to be harvested. What will you do? Harvest the vegetables. Oh yeah, it's about time to harvest them, huh? All right, I'll give you a hand with that. Oh, I'll gather them too. All right. They look good. Seriously, this is an impressive crop. Isn't it always? The veggies are ready. Let's harvest them, big bro. Great vegetables. <laughs> See what your hard work gets you? Let's do it again, big bro. Two return daikon. 
What ceiling will you plant? Well, uh, Dojima, how do you feel about growing some crack? He's supervising well, us. Planting seedlings, huh? It's been a while since I last did anything like this. Not really. Like, five days ago? He planted wheat seedlings. I'm excited to see them come in. I hope tons of veggies grow. I just realized I should have grown the cabbage for that damn lady in the supermarket so she could stop pestering me about eating my vegetables. Oh well, that's fine. Nanako, you gonna be okay? <laughs> you're going to ride Dad's scooter? That's so cool. That means you're in a biker gang now. When will you be on TV? I am now going to be your biker gang big bro. Come to think of it, there is a boy looking for stickers that are popular among children. Maybe you should ask Nanako about them. What's wrong? Big bro? Uh, you don't happen to have any children's stickers, do you? A children's sticker? Um, I'll go look. Jeez, this kid better be freaking appreciative if I have to give him Nanako's sticker. Nanako came back with a sticker. This is pretty popular. Here you go. Uh, thank you. <laughs> Nanako gave you Tenkiriman sticker. You should try giving this to the boy who wants friends. Honestly, it's been tainted. Or I should say tainted. It's been blessed by Nanako. So yes, automatic friendship all around. Dojima, you're going to be all right? Might sound like a broken record, but you make sure you're obeying all traffic laws, all right? If you're in an accident by some chance, it's possible that you'll be the one to cause it. Jeez, thanks. It's the scooter you got from Dojima. You shouldn't ride it at night. All right, fair enough. Well, no one's around town except for the drunkards, so let's go do our hospital job. Hospital janitor, go work at the hospital? Yes, he decided to work at the hospital. Might as well try it out. Inaba Municipal Hospital, hallway. He busily cleaned the dark, silent hallways. Jeez, eerie. Uh-oh. Oh gosh. You thought you heard something from down the hall. It's the damn fish ghost. She's here as well. You decided to pretend not to hear it and continue cleaning. Your courage has increased. I swear, man. I'm all fished out. The cat wants it. The ghost wants it. Now, the hospital staff want it. What do you want? If your shift is over, then, then go home. You can hear bits and pieces of conversation between the doctor and the nurse. After patrolling the empty room. Oh my gosh. You guys better not be doing anything kinky in this hospital. <laughs> oh? <laughs> Were you listening? Oh, you're cute. You're the student who started working here today, right? Well, don't drag me into the janitor's closet. I'll show you something fun the next time you're here. Why do you have such a seductive voice? I'll see you again. I will definitely be back. You finished your job and went home. You earned 5,000 yen from your work as a janitor at the hospital. Well, she's got a portrait. She must be important. And since we can go there on Friday nights, Yo! we might as well go again. What's up? Who do you think will show up on the Midnight Channel next? I heard it's going to be... It's going to rain this evening, but it's not going to last all night. Hey, have you been trying to solve the case on your own in your spare time? Uh, kind of. It hasn't been the, my greatest effort. I've just been scribbling things down on a whiteboard with messy handwriting that no one seems to be able to read on the Discord. I know, I should be thinking about it too, but that kind of stuff just isn't my specialty. How about you? I mean, as long as you kung fu the shadows, I think we're gonna be okay. I'm good at reasoning. I'm jealous. Well, everyone has their strengths and weaknesses. I'll stick to kicking things. Times like this are perfect for working out. Oh, now she's late. Classes have ended for today. You have no choice but to wait for another rainy night. You have obtained a license, but you still aren't familiar with the town. You should take your scooter for a ride today. Whew. All right. Maybe I will. Even though it's raining and dangerous conditions and whatnot. Boy, it's really coming down today, huh? Too bad I still have to go to work. Well, maybe we won't have as many customers and I'll be able to slack off a little. <laughs> hey! If you have time, do you want to search inside the TV world? Man, you all want to go on the TV every day. Not today, okay? No one's dying. No one's been kidnapped. I see. Then maybe next time. Yukiko seems disappointed. Look, 
we shall cherish our time in the TV world. When we go into the TV world, we're there for hours at a time, okay? I don't want to go there for 10 minutes here, <laughs> 10 minutes there, especially when we've got limited time to hang out with everyone in town. Oh, it's you. I'm a little busy right now, though I think I can get time off if I work a little harder. For now, though, I need to get investigating. I'll start with the housewives, then... I thought she seems busy. You should talk to him at night. Okay. Well, you go talk with the housewives then. It's the scooter you got from Dojima. What will you do? Take a long ride. You don't have a feel for the place yet, nor the courage. Oh, okay. Well, then let's just ride around the neighborhood. Take the scooter for a ride? Yes. Might as well get some practice in. Wee and I didn't crash into that trash can like Yosuke did. Train station. After getting completely lost, you reach the station. But you feel as if you're starting to get a feel for the place. You'll need to ride around a little more to get better acquainted with the area. Your courage has increased. I'll take it. Welcome home! Thanks, Nanako. You work as a janitor at the hospital today. Or I could hang out with Nanako. Um... Yes? Nanako looks as if she's not doing anything. Since your principality, our relationship is not ready to advance yet. Uh, I'm sorry, Nanako. Oh man, Adachi's here. We can hang out with him. But we only have limited days. We can go to the hospital. And the nurse said she'd show me something. So let's go pay her a visit. Hospital janitor. You decided to work at the hospital. Inaba Municipal Hospital, empty hospital room. You busily cleaned the recently vacated hospital room. I hope the patient recovered and, you know, didn't die or anything. That's why it became vacated. You feel someone watching you. You decided to pretend not to notice and continue cleaning. Your courage has increased. Damn, still not the next level yet. Oh, is there someone else here? Nice work. Oh, it's you, the student worker. I see you're doing your job. That's what you pay me for. I'm sorry, I haven't introduced myself. I'm Sayoko Uehara. Nice to meet you. N nice to meet you, too. The nurse seems kind. <laughs> yeah, that's one word. When you're done here, come on by the nurse's station. I'll pour you some hot coffee. Hot coffee? <laughs> <laughs> Just kidding. Cold coffee, then. Oh! I hear you're a high schooler. Yes, I am. <laughs> Your skin is so smooth. Hey. You know what I'm getting at, don't you? You're gonna kill me and stuff me like some taxidermist? This is getting scary. Don't worry. No one will see. If you insist. <laughs> I'm kidding. Yeah, that's right. I challenged her. I called her bluff. Today, at least. <laughs> Getting involved with a high schooler? I knew you wouldn't have the guts. I like you. When's the next time you're coming? I'll adjust my shift. Looks like even a town like this has something fun to do. Damn, if I didn't know any better, you're bloody... probably the TV killer. You can feel mischievous affection coming from Sayoko. You can feel a faint bond forming between yourself and Sayoko. Tell me it's death. <laughs> Tell me it's death. <laughs> thou art I and I am thou. Thou hast established a new bond that brings thee closer to the truth. Thou shalt be blessed when creating personas of the devil arcana. I was... I mean, that's my second choice. Because I feel like she's gonna drag me straight to hell. You have established the nurse social link of the devil arcana. You may earn next XP bonus when fusing personas of the devil arcana. I'll see you again. I'm sure you will. Okay. You finished your job and went home. You earn 5,000 yen from your work at the, as a janitor at the hospital. At least if she stabs me, I don't have to go very far. Classes have ended for today. You have no choice but to wait for another rainy night. You've obtained a license, but you still aren't familiar with the town. You should take your scooter for a ride today. 
I mean, geez, maybe I should have just spent my time with a touchy. Hey kiddo, I've got you the best sticker ever. Where am I supposed to find a rare kid sticker? I can't come up with anything. The boy's looking for a rare sticker that's popular among kids. Will you give him the Tankiriman sticker? <sighs> you better take care of this and it better score you a lot of friends, okay? Otherwise I'm coming for you and I'll make sure you get no friends for the rest of your life. Cause this is Nanako's sticker. Okay, she gave it up for you. You should feel special and blessed. A Tankiriman sticker? Wow, thank you. This is cool looking. So I'm sure they'll let me play after I show them this. The boy ran off cheerfully. Will he make lots of friends? You should ask him another time. I swear, otherwise you better return it. <laughs> Gosh. Hey partner, are we ready to rank Yo! up yet? Yo, so, can I talk to you for a minute? There's something I want to say. Yosuke seems tormented. I feel your relationship with Yosuke is going to become closer soon. Will you spend the afternoon with Yosuke? Let's do it. We're motorcycle buddies now. I see. Thanks, man. <laughs> Let's go. Yosuke looks happy. Samagawa Riverbank. You wandered here with a pensive Yosuke. Yosuke is holding something. I found this. It's a print club sticker I took with Saki-senpai. When I first got here, she insisted on taking it. Hmm. But back then, somewhere inside me, I thought I was above this place. A lot of people saw me as the enemy because Juness was going to ruin the shopping district. Hmm. But when I met her, she told me, Parents are parents, you're you. Even if she didn't really mean it, it made me happy. Because of her, I started to think maybe this town wasn't all that bad. But then... <laughs> she died. Why? Why did she have to die? It pisses me off. It makes me mad. I wanted to talk with her more. I wanted to get to know her better. But she's not here anymore. Yosuke is sobbing out loud. Oh, come on, buddy. Bring it in, man. Bro hug right here. So... I get it now. I wanted to forget about Saki-senpai. How she's not here anymore. I wanted to forget that. I was living a boring life in the middle of nowhere. When the murders started, I got excited. I thought there was finally a point to me being an Inaba. I thought I could forget Senpai was gone. The fact that I was such a loser. I jumped at the murders and never once thought about what I was doing. I didn't even take the first step. I'm sorry, Saki-senpai. I'm sorry. So, hey, hey, it's fine, man. I get it. I get it. You wanted to be special. You wanted a reason to be out here in Inaba. Being the one to solve the killings? Shit, dude. That's quite a feat. Quite a trophy you could add to your... your collection of sorts. And, well... I mean, avenging Saki would also be a bonus, I suppose. Don't apologize. But... I got you involved with the case, and all I did was run away from myself. Yosuke is looking at you, his eyes red. But... I think I'm awake now. I need to get over the fact that Saki-senpai isn't coming back. That's when this case ends. I'll have nowhere to run. And I won't have changed. You made me realize that. It seems you were able to act as Yosuke's crutch. You feel a bond between you and Yosuke. What are partners for, man? We're there for each other. When each other's at our lowest point, either you look after me or I look after you, okay? Come on, pal. Don't forget about Saki-senpai. But, yeah, you do have to accept she's 
gone, but she'll live on in your heart. No matter how painful it is. Even if you aren't able to talk with her anymore, to reconcile with her, to basic may, maybe change how she felt about you, how she felt about uh, your family. The Yosuke Hanamura Social Link has reached level 8. Your power to great personas of the Magician Arcana has grown. He's now got Diorama. Wow. Okay. Uh, let's replace it with Dia. Let's replace Dia, sorry, with Diorama. So, I think I'm all cried out. <laughs> hug him! Hug him, man! You dumbass. That's for girls. But it feels good, doesn't it? It hurts, damn it. Yosuke is crying. Bring it in. You waited until Yosuke stopped crying and walked him home. Guys, hug! Okay. Jeez. Poor boy. Welcome home. Poor, poor boy. Thanks, Donico. Gave your sticker away. Hope that's okay. Saturday, huh? Well, let's explore town, and if we've got nothing to do, we might as well do some uh, work in the garden. Ah, Dachi, you're still here. Well, don't mind if I do hang out with you this evening, then. Oh, hmm? what a coincidence. What are you doing out so late? It's dangerous, you know. Go home. Dachi seems to be on his way home from work. Since you have Gur, son of the Jister Arcana, you two might get along well. Your relationship with the Dachi is going to become closer soon when we spend the evening with the Dachi. <sighs> yeah, okay, why not? Let's keep him out of trouble at the least. <laughs> at the very least. You must have a lot of time on your hands. Dojima-san will be on your ass, you know. Well, at least we'll have something in common then. Adachi is smiling mischievously. Why is everyone smiling mischievously these days? Especially outside this gas station. Alright, what kind of trouble are we going to get up into? Uh, shopping district. Soze Daigaku. Uh, I knew it. Stores out here closed too soon. I got off work early, so I thought I'd make something. But then I got lazy. This is bad. What should I do? I have tons of Nimono at home. Why, Toru-chan, how is work? Are you still working hard? <laughs> oh, <laughs> I... Yeah, I just got off. Have you had dinner yet? You're young, you need to eat up. Would you like to come over to my house? I'm making your favorite. Nimono. Uh... Oh, uh, today I, I've got a... That's right. I promised this kid I'd eat dinner with him. You what? He's my boss's nephew, so I can't say no. <laughs> Maybe next time. Oh, that's too bad. Well, next time then. Good night. Okay, there she goes. <sighs> she really sucks away my will to live. Can you imagine how awkward dinner would be? Just me and her? I don't really like her Nemono anyway. The Lotus Root is too tough. Oh, uh, sorry for using you like that. You were a big help. Uh, <laughs> I was a big kelp. Why don't you come over for real? Huh? At Dojima-san's? Well, isn't that a generous offer? I mean, you were just there the other day. Dachi's looking at you in surprise. But Dojima-san's still at work, right? Does that mean it'll just be us? Isn't that weird? Um, Nanako will be happy. I'm, I'm a good cook. Really? You're seriously inviting me over? You don't think it'd be awkward? I mean, I've only made one thing for lunch. Dachi's looking at you like you're a rare breed. Uh, is that a good thing? Well, I am interested to see what you are like as a cook. When I was in high school, I never gave cooking a single thought. Um... What kind of student were you? I just studied. Min studied. It was a pretty good school where your grades really mattered. I didn't mind, though. You get back as much as you put in. Everyone knows that. My parents didn't care what else I did as long as my grades were good, too. But that works out when you're a student. Uh... <laughs> is having a job hard? Sometimes, yeah, it's mentally draining. You don't enjoy yourself now? <laughs> I don't know. Grown-ups have a lot on their plates. Adachi gives a tired smile. Damn, looks like I missed out on a note there. But I guess lately, things have been fun. 
It's nice to know there's something I'm good at. <laughs> this is embarrassing. Adachi seems to be working hard on solving the case. You feel like you know Adachi a bit more. Just a little bit more. Rank 3 for Adachi. The Jester. Oh, we were talking about dinner. Uh, sorry, not today. Maybe next time. See ya. I'll just stop by someplace on my way back. You make sure to hurry home. Just go to Juness and get a bun or something. You parted ways with Adachi and went home. I mean, some supermarkets here in New Zealand, they got, like, roast chicken ready to be just taken home and eaten. You have the day off from school today. You wonder when it'll rain at night again. What should you do today? Probably check the mid... Uh, not the midnight channel, the shopping channel. Hello? This is Yukiko. Hey, Yukiko. I'm sorry to call you so suddenly. Do you have time to come out today? I'll pass. Sorry. Oh. I see. I hope I'm not interrupting anything. You're interrupting my Sunday morning shopping channel extravaganza. I'll see you at school. Yukiko hung up. Sorry, it's just I gotta make sure I rank up my social links wherever I can. Remember there's a scooter parked in front of the house. Uh, yeah, it's my scooter. Maybe you should ride around the neighborhood. You realize that you haven't bought anything from the home shopping program this week. Maybe you should watch it. I am starting to run low on money. Actually, no, I shouldn't be because I've been working. So actually, never mind that. Scratch that. Let's check out the channel. Which program would you watch? Watch the shopping program. You hear an infectiously cheery song. Here comes Tanaka over the airways to you. Hello, everyone. Welcome to Tanaka's Amazing Commodities. Granter of your desires, this is Tanaka's Amazing Commodities, the mail order television program being broadcasted live to you. We guarantee your purchase will meet your satisfaction for a fair market price. Now, let's introduce the products available for these three days. It's Fire Suppressor times one. Say goodbye to your fear of fire. Oh my goodness, I can't believe its wonderfulness. I'll add herbal pill to your fire suppressor, all for the low price of 49.80 yen. What is this in case your <laughs> your bong <laughs> sets fire to something? At least you can suppress the fire and you can at least take your herbal pill. We've got another fantastic product on sale today. Bomb of life, supernatural encounters, three easy steps. On top of this, I'll add curse paper to your bomb of life for 29.80 yen. These products are so popular, we can only allow one order per person. Don't you want some damn cursed paper with your bomb of life? <laughs> what would you like to purchase today? You can only buy one of the products offered. I have 23k. <laughs> I'll get the bomb of life, please. Why not? I don't need an herbal pill. <laughs> I see enough shit in the TV world. You bought the Bomb of Life combo, including Bomb of Life and Cursed Paper. Wow, we sold through our entire stock. Thank you all so much for your participation in today's show. Today's sale is over, but you'll get another chance for three days starting next Sunday. See you next time on this channel. You hear the catchy song again. Here comes Tanaka over the airwaves to you. Shopping program has ended. Turn off the TV. I still don't know how to make that jingle work. It just doesn't, doesn't roll off the tongue, especially in a melody. All right, well, Nanako's parked in front of the TV as usual. Let's check if that boy made some friends. Hey, kid. Update. Now. Oh, mister. You know the sticker you gave me? Everyone already knew about it. But I did make friends. I talked to them every time I got a new sticker. And they just kind of became my friends. Well, shit. If it's just an ordinary sticker, I'll take it back, please. It's thanks to you. Oh, and also the fox. I wrote my wish at the shrine. They said a fox grants wishes there. I'll go say thanks to the fox later. The fuck? What about me? You better be thanking me. Where's my money? You accomplished the request written on the Emma. You should report back to the fox. I wish I had friends. Quest complete. Well, at least we know what we're doing today. All right, fox. This is the shrine's main building. You should report to the fox about making the wish on the Emma come true. Call the fox. Made sure there was no one around and called for the fox. Go on. I bet you feel all hunky-dory and happy, perched up there, getting all the thank yous and money. The fox brought you the ammo with the, with the wish that you fulfilled. It's probably worried about the outcome. You told the fox that you granted the wish written on the ammo. Fox looks exuberant. Yeah, yeah, okay, yeah, this is supposed to make me feel better, okay. 
Fox looks at the Oftor box and seems pleased. Rumors of the shrine's benevolence spread and more people may come to make offerings. You can sense the Fox's gratitude. Damn straight. Damn straight. At least I can sense someone's gratitude around here. Rank 5 for the Fox. Since your relationship with the Fox has grown stronger, it'll give you a discount on the services inside the TV. You pass some time with the Fox. It's getting late. You decide to go home. Alright, till the next wish. You're back. I am home. I went shopping today. The fridge is full of food. Cool. Well, I could probably make my lunch then. For now, though, let's just head into town. We could make our lunch, but let's hang out with hmm? Dojima this evening. Dojima's busily turning the newspaper pages. Come to think of it, Dojima was looking for a copy of a newspaper article. It seemed important, but what happened to it? I feel that unless your expression is touching, he'll just brush you off. Well, geez, now I need to work on getting my expression up to touching. Okay. You open the fridge, there's a variety of food inside. You can make lunch for tomorrow. Spend the evening making tomorrow's lunch. Mm, nah, that's fine. I think let's just work in the garden. Nah, no, screw it. Let's make some lunch. You open the fridge, there's a variety of food inside. You can make lunch for tomorrow. Spend the evening making tomorrow's lunch. Yes. Surprisingly, you have the ingredients to make potato salad. You decided to make potato salad. Alright. What should you do after boiling the potatoes? Uh, we should smash them while they're still hot. Smashing them with the knife, I see. You added ham, onions, and other ingredients after smashing the potatoes. It came out perfectly. It looks delicious. Obtained mushy potato salad. Alright. Yummy. Ooh. Today's the day people begin wearing their summer clothes. Your summer outfit is in your dresser. Obtain summer Yasuo outfit, summer clothes, and gag summer outfit. Great. Summer outfit is just literally taking off our blazer. <laughs> you overhear students talking. Meanwhile, the girls have to literally change to a different sailor uniform. Ah, oh, it's finally time to break out the summer wardrobe. So refreshing. I hope it's not going to get cold again with all this rain. I don't think we'll have to worry about that this year. I heard there's going to be less rain than there was last year. Oh, really? Well, luckily the killer only decided to strike this year. Hmm. Thinking about that, the killer must have been someone who has recently arrived in town, perhaps? Could be. Lunch break. You've brought your lunch today. Do you wish to eat lunch with someone? Who would you like to invite for lunch? Uh, let's invite Yosuke, because we didn't get any notes with him, I recall. So we may be far off progressing with them. Kind of cucked up the uh, social link then. Yasugami High Rooftop. You ate lunch with Yosuke. You ate mushy potato salad together. Damn, that's good. Wow, this is so good. Is this your recipe, so? I only know how to boil eggs myself. Well, see, this is what Adachi missed out on that night. Yosuke enjoyed your lunch. I'm just glad he didn't, like, snatch my food away from me. Good afternoon. Are you all awake today? June in Japan can be pretty tiring thanks to all that humidity and heat. But don't waste your days away with laziness. Summer is very near, my friends. Speaking of mold, lactic acid bacteria are effective in treating mold. Who the hell was talking about mold? The lactic acid they produce guards against mold. That's why foods containing lactic acid bacteria don't get very moldy. Your bodies also produce lactic acid when you exercise. That is what gives us the sore feeling in our muscles. If we were to remove the lactic acid, we would be able to use our muscles no problem, I believe. But uh, that would probably lead to irreparable tears. All right, Waku Senior, tell me what kind of exercise builds up lactic acid in the muscles. Uh, that would not be aerobics. I don't know what oxyrobics is. I think it's anaerobics, just going off the top of my head. You gave the answer you thought was right. That's right. Anaerobic exercise, like strength training, builds up lactic acid in the muscles. I thought so. Because aerobic is more like cardio for your, for your heart. Aerobic exercise, such as jogging, uses lactic acid as energy, so it is hard to build up. Ah, I didn't know that. I just thought, uh, it doesn't make your muscles exactly, uh, entirely sore. 
so much as just make you tired. All right, now that we've learned about lactic acid, everyone do 10 dashes. It's time for some anaerobic exercise. If you produce lactic acid with anaerobic exercise, your body will be clean and mold free. You answered correctly. Your knowledge has increased. I'm also mold free. Classes have ended for today. You have no choice but to wait for another rainy night. You have obtained a license, but you aren't familiar with the town. You should take your scooter for a ride today. I should, but will I? Let's double check our progress with Yosuke. Yo! Yeah, it's not ready to advance yet, but uh, I'm glad we took him out for lunch. Sorry, partner. Oh, it's Saki's brother. Just chilling out oh, by the window. Hi. Hello. What do you want? Just wanted to talk. I don't want to talk to you. His words are harsh. If your understanding was generous, you'd be able to continue the conversation. Great. Well, I am not generous enough, it seems. Yukiko's here. We can hang out with her at the very least. Ah, oh, senpai, I got into an argument with my dad. He was like, you should be studying, not wasting your time on this art crap. He was yelling so much that he wouldn't listen to anything I had to say. I don't even want to talk to him anymore. Oh, that's kind of sad. It sucks when parents disapprove of uh, your hobbies, especially because they, do they don't think it's going to be, you know, very lucrative in terms of a career. I've seen everyone moan about how school camp is going to suck, but I'm actually looking forward to it. Why? Because of the mountains, man. The mountains. This will be the perfect place to pitch my mountain climbing club idea. Yeah, that's right. I haven't given up on it yet. Okay. <laughs> Keep fighting the power, brother. School camp's coming up, huh? It's not that I don't want to go, but I don't know about being gone overnight. My grandma's always telling me I should go and have fun. But I know she's just trying to act strong. She must be so lonely all by herself at home. Uh, I'm sure she'll be okay for one night, surely. Well, since I'm usually so late, I figured it might help if I got up a little earlier. So I did. Man, I had no idea the sports team started so early. I guess that means they're having fun, right? Yeah, well, I'm, I'm not an early riser whatsoever, so I tend to be a little tardy myself, for better or worse. Alright, Yukiko, let's hang out today. Oh. Hi, Sokun. This is to make up for uh, yesterday, where I didn't hang out with you. It seems Yukiko isn't busy right now. Since you have Saki Mitama, everything should be fine. Your relationship will advance soon. Will you spend the afternoon with Yukiko? Yes. yes. Okay. Yukiko looks happy. Samagawa Floodplain. Yukiko handed you a homemade box lunch. All right. Well, will it compare to my potato salad? Let's find out. Um. It came out well, so I packed it up. Try it out. It looks normal. <laughs> Question mark? For some reason, an unusually pungent smell, or pungent smell, hangs in the air. Uh, let's eat. You don't have enough courage. Uh, okay, um, hmm. Did you taste it? Uh, no, I haven't. <laughs> I wanted you to be the first to try it. Uh, well, as a chef, you should really be tasting your food before handing it out to others. Yukiko is smiling innocently. Seems you have no choice but to eat it. Well, there you go. See? Even if I haven't got the courage, I'm forced to eat it anyway. You started with the omelette looking thing. <laughs> it's actually so... There's something too hard to bite on inside. And it smells burnt, yet for all. You worry that your body will reject the foreign matter. See, my... My cooking skills have allowed me to an analyze this this meal before me. You were finally able to swallow it. You're not about to tell me how delicious that was, are you? You can go look sad. <laughs> uh, there's always next time. I don't want to say, I can I toss this? Or this won't cut it. Thank you. I'm trying to be encouraging, you know. Try not to punch down. Yukiko seems relieved. Oh, big bro! What are you doing? Oh, Nanako, you're out here! In your summer dress. Oh, aren't you lovely? Uh, Nanako-chan. Well, I was just having him try my boxed lunch. So you don't have to, Nanako, actually. In fact, I'm just going to force my way through this. Don't even think about putting your fingers on this food. It might be dangerous. Oh, I want some. What did I just say? Uh, I'm sorry, but I can't give you any. It's not good. Oh, if you make a good one, will you let me have some? <laughs> <laughs> sure, if you want. 
if she makes a good one. Yay, I'm rooting for you. Nanako-chan. Thank you. I'll do my best, okay? I need to go now. I'm going to Mai-chan's house. Bye! Okay, be safe. Be careful. Hmm. Uh, I'm sorry to drag you around. <laughs> Just don't feed me again. I'm having fun. Really? I'm glad to hear that. Yukiko seems relieved. You can sense that Yukiko is relying on you. You feel your relationship has grown deeper. Nice. There we go. I'm sure you'll be a top shift by rank 10. For now, though, we're only at rank 4. Her growth of heart has affected her persona as well. She's got divine grace. Wow. Wow, wow, wee, wow. Only about a year left, huh? Well, less than that. I need to be able to do anything on my own by then. I'll see you later. You handed Yukiko the rest of the box lunch and went home. If all else fails, you can be like a dachi and just live off instant noodles. Right, we are back. Dojima's got no summer uniform at his work. Wow. Nanako's absorbed in the quiz show as per usual. You open the fridge, there's a frozen banana inside. Eat it? Hang on. Let's see what's out in town. Alright, it's a frozen banana. How bad can it be? The word dad is written on the banana peel. Shit. I'm a dad already? You pretend that you didn't see it. <clears throat> wow, I didn't even get any courage out of it. Anything else in here? Nothing else. Okay. Alright, let's do some gardening then so we can at least get a little bit closer with Nanako and get our diligence up. Let's do it. This seem to be coming along. Looks like a bumper crop. Oh yeah, school campout is coming up for you soon. You're staying the night, right? You won't be coming home then? But you'll be back soon, right? Don't give him those puppy dog eyes. He'll be back the next day. <laughs> you can be so spoiled, Nanako. Says the guy who's hardly ever home. Yes, she's totally spoiled. <laughs> I'm not spoiled. I'm in first grade now. <laughs> all right, all right. Be careful while you're out there. By taking care of the garden together, you feel as if you've gotten closer to the two of them. You carefully tended the vegetables. Your diligence has increased. This should quicken the harvesting date. Phew. At least we can uh, continue to increase our relationship while increasing our social stats as well. You overhear students talking. The school camp starts next weekend, doesn't it? Oh, right. It's gonna be all work. I'm not gonna have any fun at all. Oh, there has to be some way I can ditch this stupid camp. Alright, let's get together and brainstorm ideas on how to get out of this. <laughs> I have a bad feeling I'm gonna get caught up in trying to abscond from camp. Alright. Line up, line up. Who wants to hang out with me? <sighs> Yumi? Oh, sorry. I'm just kind of tired. You're going to come to practice, right? We spend the afternoon with the drama club? We'll decide later. Huh? Are you even trying? Oh. It's okay, I guess. Just don't slack off too much. I don't need to try, okay? I'm a natural actor. What will you do after school? Freaking somehow make Yumi happy. Classes have ended for today. You have no choice but to wait for another rainy night. You've obtained a license, but you're still unfamiliar with the town. You should take your scooter for a ride today. Yeah, I still need to do that, huh? Yeah.